You first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back to KIMT News 3 at 6. Let's go ahead and get to your forecast now with Storm Team 3 Chief Meteorologist Aaron White. As we look ahead to our Valentine's Day night, Aaron, we're seeing some raindrops, chances for snow. Sure. Not the best forecast. No, um, but we'll get through it. We got uh, some brighter skies ahead after tonight. We got sunshine back here tomorrow, so we're looking good there. But tonight, we are talking about rain moving in and eventually changing to snow. And because of that, there are some advisories in effect for parts of Minnesota and into Wisconsin and far northeastern Iowa. We are going to see some snow, but the higher amounts are going to generally be to our north. Right now, mostly quiet. We've had a couple rain showers, but going to start to see more of that building in here uh, pretty quickly. But temperatures, yeah, too warm for snow. We got 40 degrees now in downtown Rochester. South winds at 7. Mason City also seeing temperatures in the lower 40s. It's been fairly mild today. We saw lower 50s in Algona earlier this afternoon. But that's changing as we see that colder air making its way in, changing the rain that we're going to see to snow later on this evening. Temperature wise, you can see the line here. We got 30s to the north and west, 40s to the south, even still near 50 in Algona with 48 degrees, 43 in Austin, 34 in Owatonna. So the colder air is getting closer, but for now, primarily looking at rain moving in now into Mason City and Albert Lee back towards the south and west. Going to the northwest, we got snow already in Minnesota and parts of South Dakota, and that trend will continue as we go through the evening into tonight. So timing this out on SkyTracker 3, we're here at 6 p.m., starting to see that rain building in across Iowa into Minnesota, changing to snow here by 10 p.m., Rochester, Austin, Alberly, Owatonna, Mankato, still likely looking at rain in Mason City and Charles City, but that will change as we go through later this evening, getting closer to midnight, and then clearing out of here and giving us some sunshine here for the day tomorrow. But talk about potential snowfall. Generally, not looking at a lot of heavy snow by any means, and some of it will be melting as our temperatures are near and above freezing, at least initially. So we're only looking at measuring about one to two, possibly up to three inches of snowfall um, at best for the area as we go through tonight. But a lot of us only going to measure tomorrow morning about one to two inches of snowfall uh, for Iowa and Minnesota. Temperature wise looking still decent here tomorrow. We'll melt some of that snow 30 degrees for a high with mostly sunny skies and then temperatures take a dip for Friday into the 20s. But after that, we'll say goodbye to the cold and hello to some more mild temperatures as we get sunshine in near 40 on your Sunday and back to the mid 40s, maybe getting close to 50 again next week.